Kevin Kelly, chairman and CEO of defense services provider Arcfield, has been chosen as one of the 42 first-time inductees into the Washington 100 League. Chenega's Security Strategic Business Unit has acquired e and International for an undisclosed sum as part of a push to broaden its capacity to deliver critical fire and emergency services and capabilities to existing and future customers. General Atomics will provide technical services for the U.S. Army's MQ-1C Gray Eagle aircraft under a $561.5 million contract. Science Applications International Corporation has received a potential seven-year, $494 million recompete contract to provide safety and mission assurance support services at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston and White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico. Executive Mosaic's GovCon index grew by 1.66% last week, closing with an average of $4,963.08. Immersive training services provider HTX Labs has added Craig Wills, former 19th Air Force commander, to its advisory board. Viasat Senior Vice President for Government Strategy and Policy Rebecca Cowan Hirsch recently said that the commercial satellite communications industry views the inclusion of a $134 million line item for commercial SATCOM integration within the proposed fiscal year 2025 Pentagon budget, as a positive development. Periton has opened a new office in San Antonio, Texas as part of its efforts to expand its presence in the state's technology community and strengthen collaboration with federal agencies, academia and local industry partners. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2024 Cyber Summit on June 6, 2024. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. Orca Securities Agentless Cloud Security Offering will be promoted to the public sector under a partnership agreement with Kerasoft Technology. The U.S. Marine Corps demonstrated two uncrewed low-profile vessel prototypes designed by Lidos during Project Convergence Capstone 4, a joint and multinational military exercise hosted by the U.S. Army.